Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the North Pole News. As always, I'm your host, Juan Wars Open Slay, and with me, as always, Holly Jolly. And today, we have a special story a controversy starting our, um, a Christmas icon, if you will Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Yes, the reindeer with a nose that's not only shiny, but if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. And in a historic moment that would define Christmases for years, Rudolph used his amazing gift to lead Santa and his eight judgmental reindeer through a brutal blizzard and saved Christmas. But is this possible? Is this accurate? Some have argued that Rudolph's condition may not even be scientifically possible. That's right, Juan. But rest assured, viewers, Rudolph can be real. And we can use science to prove it. And it all starts with UV light. Yes, it appears that over time, reindeer gained the evolutionary and extraordinary ability to see UV light. Indeed. If we were to assume that Rudolph's nose is some sort of UV light, then the idea that it could be used to save Christmas is not too far off. But this raises another problem. Would they be able to see through the fog? Yes, that does raise quite an issue. Luckily, the red nose covers that problem entirely. Red light travels the fastest through fog. This would make Rudolph the most effectively lit-nosed reindeer. That brings up another potential problem. The red nose. Well, we can all agree on one thing. It's lit. There is another potential problem. Is it possible, and furthermore, could it happen with the reindeer? This is an essential issue, as it represents a core problem with the Rudolph controversy. Sadly, we have not found any evidence that a reindeer, or any animal for that matter, could have a nose or a body part that emits light. Furthermore, even if they could, there's the essential problem that reindeer emit body heat through their noses. In order for Rudolph to perform at peak effectiveness, he would have to be intaking an excessive amount of calories, otherwise risk dying of hypothermia. Now what about the idea of a flying reindeer? What are the main bases of Christmas lore? Well, we know that Santa's reindeer can fly because of magic. There's no real scientific basis as far as how this could work. The closest scientific explanation we can give you uh, is that there may be some sort of gravitational field around uh, them that can manipulate the space around them. Alternatively, their lungs could have the ability to uh, take incoming oxygen and convert it to helium, allowing them to float. The original idea um, of a flying reindeer uh, can be dated back to the works of poet Clement Clark Moore in the 1820s. Reindeer have been typically used to lead in the snowy weather, however, so the idea of uh, them working for the head of the North Pole himself is not so exaggerated. So there you have it, folks. There are elements of Rudolph's story that definitely do fit in real-world context, but have no real scientific basis in reality. But that's irrelevant. It doesn't matter if it exists in reality, so long as you believe it in your heart and use it to have a great holiday season. <laughs> indeed, Holly. Indeed. As always, I'm your host, Juan Horse Open Slay, wishing you a happy holidays and a happy new year.